Welcome to Spooky News for October 16th, 2020. We're drawing ever closer to Halloween, and with it, even those who, unlike most of you watching this, only turn their minds to spooky things once a year, are getting caught up in the mood and season. For the spooky tribe, this is our moment. Before I get to the news, I want to remind everyone that Spooky Ventures, and particularly this YouTube channel, should be an interactive endeavor. But for that to happen, we need you. Please subscribe to the channel, like our videos, share our videos, comment, and let us know if you have ideas for things we should cover. This is your spooky venture as much as it is ours. I should also mention that with that in mind, that you can always find Spooky Ventures Keep It Spooky gear at our Cafe Press store, cafepress.com slash spookyventures. See, that's easy to remember. With all that out of the way, let's get to the spooky news for this week. In addition to spooky season, this is election season. And there's nothing much spookier than that, am I right? Our first news story is actually all about the White House. Stories of haunting experiences have been floating around about the building for many, many years. A new tale has just emerged, though, as Jenna Bush Hager recently reported that she and her sister Barbara once heard spooky piano music like from the 1920s, coming from a fireplace in the White House. Add that one to the legacy of stu spooky stories based in the famous old building. Since we started heading towards spooky season, I've been talking about how this is going to be a Halloween like none of us have ever experienced. I also talked about the fact that while some, of a, some events are canceled, others are going forward with no new procedures in place to try to slow the spread of COVID-19, yet still provide the fun we've come to expect from them. CNN recently did a pretty fascinating article, well it's fascinating for those like myself who live for this time of year, that focuses on how haunted houses have been impacted. They contacted a cross-section of attractions, the ones considered the 10 best in the U.S. Of those, they found that three were not opening this year. The other seven all chose to go forward with their spooky events with precautions in place. It's a great article to read, but even more importantly, it illustrates the fact that you can still find things to do this Halloween while observing virus protections. The safest way to celebrate this year is to do so in your own home, with people who share that space with you. If you want an idea for how to make ice cream fun for your family, well, ice cream is always fun, this will turn it into spooky fun, be sure to check out an article at Manila Bulletin. After I'm done talking in this video, stay around for the sources and you'll find the URL for their site and the title of the article so you can find it. The article highlights an ice cream company in the Philippines that has spooky ice cream kits. Now if you aren't in the Philippines, you can't get those, but you can certainly look at the pictures and descriptions and a little creativity will help you make your own. Might be a great project to do with your children too. Turning to the world of music, a new release from an EDM artist named Figure might have a place in your Halloween mixtape. I have to admit that I don't really follow the musical style, but I probably should check this gentleman out. Apparently he's released a whole series of horror-based electronic dance music over the years. His latest is called Eleven Monstrum, and it continues the tradition. I'll see about adding some selections from Figure to our spooky music playlist and uh, be checking into this artist for certain. You might like, might like to check into his stuff too. If you want a more immersive Halloween experience, perhaps a new game called Phantasmagoria is for you. It's a cooperative online gaming experience. You find yourself in various haunted locations hunting ghosts. You can even do it in VR mode to get further into the virtual world. Looking to the world of movies, this has been a very strange year in that regard, too. Not only have many movie releases been pushed back or altered to home streaming or some hybrid of streaming and theatrical release, but movie production has lar largely halted. On the one hand, that will work out well for a lot of the films that have been had their release dates postponed, but it also means there are less finished movies in the pipeline. As a sign that studios are starting to find new ways to move forward, Blumhouse has begun filming again. They are currently working on lower budget and unscripted projects, including a reboot of the classic show Scare Tactics. They hope to start filming some of the more blockbuster type movies next year. 
Jason Blum says that they have they uh, hope to have about three quarters of the productions they did in 2019 by 2021, but that things won't be back to normal until there is a COVID vaccine. It's good to know that some new horror is now filming and more will be on the way, though. Speaking of horror movie productions, a new article from Screen Rant lists ten films that are set to have remakes done. One of the movies they list is Candyman, which is done but is now set for a 2021 release date. Actually, that's technically a sequel to the original film more than it is a remake. An English language version of the Korean zombie movie Train to Busan is also on the list. That one, though, hasn't gotten very far along as it's just in the planning stages now. Other titles in the list include Wrong Turn, Arachnophobia, The Changeling, and Little Shop of Horrors. Two new versions of classic Universal monster movies are in the works, The Wolfman and The Bride of Frankenstein. There are also two remakes of Stephen King films coming, Firestarter and Children of the Corn. I know a lot of people despise remakes out of the gate, but I'm not one of those. I actually enjoy many remakes, but they have to be worthy. So, I'll wait to see before I pass judgment. That brings us to the end of the news items for this week. Remember, we have an events calendar that is packed full of spooky dates on our main page at SpookyVentures.com. Looking at that calendar, scroll, looking for that calendar, scroll toward the bottom of the home page to find the link to it. You'll see that next Tuesday on the calendar, the 20th, is Bela Lugosi's birthday. Sam Raimi's birthday is next Friday the 23rd. I'll be back in a week with more spooky news. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, and always keep it spooky. Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.